Hi, this lecture is about accessory navicular. The objectives of this lectures are we're going to speak about the pathology, the clinical presentation, x-rays and types of accessory navicular, and we're going to speak about the treatment option for this condition. A good source that you can use is this book written by myself and Dr. Naga. So the pathology in cases of accessory navicular is enlargement of the medial side of the plantar aspect of the foot at the level of the navicular bone. So you can see this kid has an uh, accessory navicular. You can see there is an enlargement here and this is enlargement is at the level of the navicular bone at the medial plantar part of the foot. This condition is fairly common. Uh, some studies show it's up to 10% of the population has some form of accessory navicular, and it's usually bilateral. You can see here uh, this kid. Uh, this is the lower leg here. This is the right side. This is the left side. And here is the foot. And on bilaterally, you can see swelling and enlargement here over the medial plantar aspect of the foot. So this is a medial plantar aspect of the foot. Bilaterally, there is enlargement, and this is a form of accessory navicular. Uh, most cases of accessory navicular uh, are asymptomatic. There is only a uh, painless uh, prominence over the medial aspect of the foot uh, over uh, the accessory navicular, um, but uh, there is no complaint uh, associated with this. Uh, rarely this condition can cause pain and the pain is um, over that enlargement so the pain will be over the medial plantar aspect of the foot so uh, here is the lower leg here is the foot uh, we're seeing the foot here from the medial aspect you can see here uh, this is uh, the accessory navicular uh, there is a swelling and prominence here of the uh, medial plantar aspect of the foot uh, another case here you can see here is the lower leg here is the foot uh, the medial side here is the big toe and you can see here this is an accessory navicular uh, it's a prominence over the medial plantar aspect of the foot in most cases uh, this swelling uh, and prominence uh, uh, is painless however uh, sometimes uh, there is pain associated uh, with this swelling uh, and uh, the theories of this pain uh, may be related to um, either some sort of a stress reaction um, caused by uh, the pull from the uh, posterior tibial muscles, which is inserts into the medial aspect of the navicular, or it may be direct pressure uh, from the shoes or from the walking. Uh, so, um, again, most conditions of the accessory navicular are asymptomatic, uh, just there is a prominence over the medial aspect of the foot, uh, some cases associated with pain, uh, the pain is either due to direct pressure over that bony prominence, or it may be stress associated with, um, uh, uh, over the accessory navicular associated with the pull of the posterior tibial muscle, uh, which inserts into the medial side of the navicular. Because the condition is fairly common, as we said, it may be associated with other conditions. So there may be um, cases of, of accessory navicular associated with flat foot, for example, or with tarsal coalition. However, these are uh, separated cases and they are not related. Uh, X-ray uh, of the uh, accessory navicular will show one of the three types. Um, uh, type 1, which is usually small ossicle beside the navicular bone. Uh, type 2, which is the most uh, symptomatic one in adolescent, and it is usually like a bullet-shaped ossicle uh, with synchondrosis over the navicular. I'm going to show you this uh, in an x-ray. And then type 3 uh, is a large enlargement of the navicular bone extending medially. Uh, so this is uh, one of my patients here. You can see there is a prominence here. This is the uh, medial plantar aspect of the foot. Here is the lower leg. Here is the foot. Uh, you were seeing the foot from the medial side. There is a prominence here. And in the x-ray, you can see a small ossicle here. This, uh, so this is the navicular bone. This is the talus. And here is a small ossicle here. Uh, this uh, small ossicle uh, is type 1 of accessory navicular. Usually type 1 is not... Uh, symptomatic. Um, one th thing I'd like to tell you, the posterior tibial muscles insert into this part, so this ossicle is basically in the posterior uh, tibial muscle. Type 2, which uh, as we said is the most common uh, uh, type to become symptomatic. Uh, you can see here, this is one of my patients. Uh, you can see there is an enlargement here into the uh, medial plantar aspect of the foot. X-rays show obvious this is type 2, which is a bullet-shaped uh, ossicle with synchondrosis. Uh, 
uh, synchondrosis means that um, uh, there is some sort of bony union uh, or bony articulation between that ossicle and uh, the navicular and this uh, synchondrosis may have some pain um, from the pull of the posterior tibial muscle this is one of the theory the other theory as we said is direct pressure over this uh, prominence so this is type 2 which is the most common type um, most common type to become symptomatic you can see here it's an a bull shaped ossicle with syngondrosis mean uh, there is some uh, uh, fibrous connection uh, with the uh, main navicular bone here is the main navicular bone here is the telus and here is the uh, type 2 accessory navicular so what is the treatment? Uh, Non-operative treatment is the main treatment of cases of accessory navicular. Uh, if uh, it's discovered accidentally, you're getting an x-ray for a different reason and you found the uh, accessory navicular, basically no treatment at all. If it's causing pain, uh, we'd like to decrease the stress of the accessory navicular by one of two methods. Uh, one method, if we're talking about direct pressure and the pain is caused by direct pressure, you can put soft insert like soft gel over the uh, uh, plantar medial aspect of the foot. Uh, these are usually uh, can uh, be uh, obtained from uh, over the counter. Uh, there is many uh, brands there. Um, but just make sure it's the soft one, the gel one, so that uh, it can decrease the direct pressure and over the bone. Uh, um, if we're talking about the pain is coming from the stress over the uh, synchondrosis by the uh, posterior tibial muscle, uh, one method to decrease the pain is to put the patient in a cam boot, controlled ankle motion uh, boot, uh, or a cast, and this is to decrease the pull of the posterior tibial muscle, and this hence will decrease the pain. Uh, rarely, if the pain persists after prolonged uh, non-operative treatment, uh, surgical treatment is an option. In this case, uh, a simple excision uh, usually uh, causes uh, pain relief. Uh, there is no need for any advancement of the posterior tibial muscle uh, as uh, just simple excision uh, should uh, decrease the pain in most cases. Uh, thank you. All my videos are for education purpose only. Uh, please uh, consult your doctor before taking any decision.